Hello and welcome my dear students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Mr. Chika welcoming all my grade 9 elite students to today's session on lesson 2 1 angles of polygons. We are starting the new module module 2. So welcome and let's get started. Our goals today would be to prove and use polygon interior angle sum theorem and to prove and use polygon exterior angle sum theorem. Our vocabulary word would be diagonal of a parallelogram or a polygon and we are going to define it in this way. A polygon, if it has a diagonal, the diagonal of the polygon is a segment that connects or joins any two of the non-consecutive vertices within a polygon. So if this is a polygon, P, Q, here it is R, it's missing, I will write. S, T, P. This is a polygon. So how many sides it has? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five-sided polygon. So it's called 5-gon or it's also called pentagon. Now this pentagon, how do we define the uh, diagonal? So look at the vertices. P, Q, R, S, T. There are five vertices. Now these five vertices, if you take the non-consecutive, non-consecutive means which are not one after the other. So if I'm taking P, I cannot take Q, I cannot take S, uh, sorry, I cannot take P, I have to take R and S. So these are the non-consecutive vertices of the vertex P. So join P with the non-consecutive vertex. So PR, that's a diagonal, a segment. And PS, that's again another diagonal. So how many diagonals it has? Two diagonals. So if a polygon has uh, five vertices, it is getting two diagonals here for this one. If I take this vertex T, okay, then what will be the diagonal? TQ and PR. Now, if you look carefully, this these two diagonals divide the polygon into 1, 2 and 3. So, it divides into 3 triangles. Now, the vertices of polygon P, Q, R, S, T that are not consecutive with the vertex P, R, R and S. We have already seen that. These are the two. Notice that the diagonals from the vertex P separate the polygon into three triangles. So one, two, three, three triangles. Now the sum of the angle measures of the polygon is the sum of the angle measures of the triangle. So one triangle is 180 degrees, second triangle is again 180 degrees and the third triangle is again 180 degrees. So 180 plus 180 plus 180 that is going to give you the sum of all angles of a triangle. So if the polygon is having five sides you have three triangles. So for one triangle the sum is 180 degree. For three triangles it will be 3 times 180 degree. So similarly, if a polygon has n sides, n sides, then how much less is the sum by 2 units? So it will be n minus 2 times 180. I hope you understand this logic. So if the polygon is 5 side vertex, n are the, if n are the vertices of the polygon, then n minus 2. That means two less, three triangles are there. So that's how you reach to the formula. So by generalizing the observation that you saw for the convex polygon with n sides, we can develop the theorem called polygon interior angle sum theorem. Very important. Interior means inside. So if the angles are inside the polygon, it is polygon interior angles theorem which we are going to apply. Very important. And if it is outside, you will apply polygon outside. That means exterior angle sum theorem. So the sum of the interior angles measure of a n-sided convex polygon. So n is the number of vertices is how much n minus 2 multiplied with 180 degree this is the formula so always remember you reduce by 2 and you multiply by 180 so let's apply the theorem we have just now learned for this question this is a check question selected from your book now look at this polygon how many vertices it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it has 
six vertices that means the value of n is six so how much will be n minus two it will be four multiplied with 180 so the total sum has to be 4 multiplied with 180 which is going to be 720 so what did i do i just applied the polygon interior angle theorem so if the polygon has six sides n minus 2 will be 4 and multiply by 180 now the measure of angle is given angle a is this angle b is this angle c is this angle d is this angle e is this and angle f is this so we can just add them all and put them equal to 720 to get the value of x after we get x we can easily get angle e so let's add them up angle a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f now notice these all are interior angles they are inside the polygon so that's equal to 720 for this one so let's put in the values angle a is x plus 2 angle b is x minus 8 angle c is x plus 7 angle d is x minus 3 angle e is x plus 6 angle f is x minus 4 and that's equal to 720 now let's see what was going to happen so x is coming one two three four five six times so six x look at the numbers i'm going to take them together these are all like terms as you can see so two with minus eight with seven with minus three with six with minus four will come together here in this bracket now we are going to simplify this more so this comes out to be 2 minus 8 plus 7 minus 3 plus 6 minus 4 equal to 0. All of this gets cancelled. So I divide by 6 both sides and very easily I can know that my value of x is going to be 120 so x is going to be 120 degrees now if you look at the option you might put b as the answer but read the question well measure of angle e is asked angle e that means x plus this so x plus 6 degrees is the measure of angle e which is going to be 120 plus 6 126 so your answer is going to be d Okay, now coming to this uh, slide, I have kept here an important study tip for all of you. If you remember, a polygon with n sides is called n gone. You remember we started the lesson by 5 gone, but it also has another name, pentagon, I had told you. So therefore, there are some special names for the polygons. So if the polygon has three sides, it's called triangle, you all know. If it has four sides, quadrilateral, five sides, pentagon, six sides, hexagon. So it is coming from the suffix. Quad means four, pent means five, uh, hex means uh, six, hept means seven, and so on. So octagon, nonagon, decagon, hendagon, do decagon and n gun so n gun is for the n sites so this is a general special name list you should know about polygons now let's see how you can find the polygon and identify it given the interior angle measure so you are given now a special type of polygon which is called regular polygon so regular polygon means all sides equal and if all sides are equal all angles are also equal so the measure of an interior angle of such a regular polygon is given to be 144 find the number of sides of the polygon number of sides we don't know so let's take it as n which is the number of sides of the polygon now it's a regular polygon that means all angles are equal all sides are equal so if one interior angle is 144 degree and there are n sides then can we say that the sum of all interior angle measure will be 144 times n 
yeah so we just multiply the two of them and we also know by the theorem of polygon interior sum angle theorem that the sum of interior angle measures can be expressed using the formula n minus 2 times 180 now both of them represent the sum of all interior angles so they both are equal now you can solve this equation how you can solve you can use distributive property so this is 180 n minus 360 degree is equal to 144 n so you bring 360 here subtract 144 n so this gives you 36 degrees n is equal to 360 degrees divide by 36 both sides so your n is going to be 10 so how many sides this regular polygon has it has 10 sides so it's a regular decagon this is how you solve let's try a question together the measure of the interior angle of a regular polygon is 150 so it's a regular polygon all sides are equal all angles are equal so therefore the sum of all interior angles can be how much if the one angle is 150 degree and there are n sides we have to find the number of sides let it be n then it will be 150 times n and by the formula it will be n minus 2 times 180 degrees so let's solve this equation so 150 degrees n is 180 degrees n minus 360 let's bring 360 here and move this here so this becomes 180 n minus 150 n is equal to 360 or 30 times n is 360 so divide both sides by 30 so n is equal to 12 so how many sides does this polygon has 12 sides and it's called a dodecagon because it has 12 equal sides.